you're probably already familiar with mindfulness and the benefit of mindfulness, the importance of it. The difference being, of course, that in meditation, you are sitting to become aware of your thoughts, to become aware of the patterns of your thoughts, and then to move away from attachment of those thoughts, not so much to come to a place of a void of thoughts, because that is the pattern of the mind to bring things up, but to become observant of, again, what the patterns are, to not attach to them, and to drop into that place of stillness. Whereas mindfulness is more about being mindful of your experience, allowing yourself to experience the experience, and to do so from a place of acceptance rather than judgment. And when we do this, what happens is we allow ourselves to accept experience for what it is and to relax into it. So rather than trying to always fight against something that doesn't feel comfortable, instead to open ourselves up to just acknowledging a feeling, to being okay with what that feeling is. And then instead of trying to, again, work against it, we relax into it. And when we relax into it, we realize that that feeling of whatever discomfort is only a temporary sensation and that starts to dissipate. Another thing with mindfulness, of course, is when we do things from a place of, of mindfulness, we are present. Because we spend so much time in the mind going into the future, ruminating over the past, so often we can lose what's actually happening in this moment. So a very easy example, of course, could be a beautiful sunny day, you could be out having a lovely lunch, and instead of just enjoying that moment, enjoying the presence of the person that you're with, being absolutely present with the conversation, someone could be lost in thought, they could be thinking about something that happened two weeks ago or two months ago or two years ago or more, and they're not then present. And so what happens is you lose the gift of the present moment. And something that's always helpful to remember is that life is only in the present moment because anything outside of that is already the past which is memory and anything that of course is moving forward into the future is just that it's imagination it's projection not that of course we don't need to reflect on where we've been or of course to have goals and visions and dreams for the future but if we're in those places and not in the present we forget that in the present moment we are creating the memories that will be our past, as well as we're creating through our choices in the present moment of what we seek for ourselves in the future. So what we'll do is just first allow ourselves, as always, as we would in a yoga practice, to be in the body with the breath. And the easiest way to get out of all that activity of the mind of going into, the, again, the past or jumping into the future is to be embodied. And the easiest way to be embodied is first to connect with the breath, and second is to notice sensation. And this is really helpful because often what will happen is we want to drop into the present moment. We want to be aware of what's happening around us. We want to really hear what people are saying. We want to be able to have Again, if it was you know, having a lovely lunch, to actually hear what the other person is saying and have that interaction that's authentic and genuine. But if we start going into the mind and we start making to-do lists or we start again going, then we don't have that experience. So when we notice that, we just want to drop back into the body, come to the breath and bring ourselves back into the present moment. And the beauty with mindfulness is you can do it anytime, anywhere. So even with the eyes open, without closing the eyes, you can just start to feel where there may be any tension in the body. And again, this is what we would do with the yoga asana practice is drop into the body, become aware of the breath. And notice where there's any holding patterns, 
where there may be any gripping. Sometimes we don't even realize that we're holding our hand in a particular position or the jaw in a particular position or the shoulders are up around the ears. So just allowing ourselves to feel what's happening in the body. And again, from a complete place of acceptance, not even needing to change anything initially, just allowing ourselves to become aware. And then with the breath, noticing the breath, the inhale and the exhale. Noticing if there's a temperature, so noticing from with the nostrils, as you exhale, you feel the breath. And as you inhale, feeling the breath and just noticing, just noticing if there's temperature, you can even place your hand right underneath your nostrils and as you're exhaling, feel the warmth of the breath. As you inhale, feel the temperature of the breath to you. If it's cooler in the inhale, of course, as it's drawing into the body, and it's warmer on the exhale. And of course, the breath is warmed and coming out of the body. And then notice if one nostril or the other is dominant. Or is there more breath coming through the right nostril or the left? And then you can just bring your hand down. And we'll do a body scan beginning from the crown of the head. Just moving from the top of the head along the forehead. Noticing if there's any tension in the forehead. And moving down along the eyes. And again, eyes can be open or closed, whichever you feel more comfortable with. Just notice if there's any pressure behind the eyes or whether the eyes feel soft and relaxed. Just observing, moving down along the jaw, if there's any tension in the jaw, if there's any grinding even in the teeth, but sometimes we're not even aware that we're doing it, holding so tight, just letting the jaw start to feel soft and relaxed. And then moving down along the neck and the shoulders. I'm aware the shoulders are drawn up. And again, just letting the body begin to soften. So when the shoulders fall down away from the ears. And down along the arms, all the way down to the wrist. And then feel the weight of your hands on your knees, wherever you placed your palms, just feel that, it's the weight. What is the feeling of the hand touching the leg? And is it equal to the sides? And moving up along the back of the arm, going back up to the shoulders. And then along the chest, of becoming aware if there's any holding at all in the chest. Noticing the breath moving in the chest. Still listening to the sound of the breath. And then moving down along to the abdominal area. 
Noticing if there's an expansion through the breath into the belly or not. And again, just simply being observant, just noticing. And as you move down along into the hips, if there's any tightness. And the same thing, is it equal on both sides? And then moving down along the knees and along the shins and to the ankles. And just seeing again, what's the pressure at the legs and the feet, depending on your seated position. And again, is that equal on both sides? Or does one feel more than the other? And then drawing along on the top of the feet. And then coming down along towards the heels, the soles of the feet and the toes. And then along the back of the legs, the calves. And then the thighs and feeling the buttocks resting. On your mat and the floor, the surface that you're sitting on. And then moving up along the back and becoming aware of any tightness in the low back or ease. And then all the way up along the back back up to the shoulders, noticing if the shoulders have started to draw up towards the ears, or whether they're still down away from feeling that lengthening in the neck, if there's any tension, any tightness in the neck. And then all the way up, back of the neck to the crown of the head, and then take a deep inhale through the nose, and exhale out the mouth. Now, if your eyes are open, just gently close them. And become aware of the temperature of the room that you're in. Feel that temperature on your skin. Notice if that temperature is different with your palms on your legs. Notice the difference in temperature in the mouth to the skin and the arms. And then notice as well the sounds around you and the sounds within you. the sound of the breath, any other internal sounds that you begin to become aware of. Sometimes as the mind begins to quiet, begin to hear a buzzing sound. You may or may not just note it. And then notice in your own body where your attention is drawn to and where it isn't. So that may be again your palm resting on your leg, and feeling the weight of your hand. And then not feeling anything in particular in the left shoulder. And then notice as much as you can about where your attention is drawn. Any additional sensations, feelings, any tingling or again any weight. any tightness, any tension, and then move back again to that area where you don't feel anything. You 
just feels open and spacious. And then bring now your attention to another area of your body where you notice sensation and maybe even tightness, tension, weight, heat, or coolness. And then another area of the body where you don't. And again, go back and forth between those two places. Noticing the difference in each. And again, without attaching anything, if you notice tightness or tension in an area of your body, without going into any stories of why that may be there, just simply observing it. And then noticing how where you direct your attention, you increase the experience of that. And so in mindfulness, allowing ourselves to be aware to notice, to feel, to hear, to use our senses, to be present to the experience of now. And in doing so, Becoming aware of how we can choose where we direct our attention that allows us either to be in the present moment, mindful of what is happening in that moment, or not, depending on where we direct our attention. Being intentional of where we direct our intention. And in doing so, we are able to experience much more, much more of the sights the sounds, the tastes, the feelings of what is in our immediate experience, our immediate world environment. So now bring your attention to the center of your being so think right here in your heart center. Still listening to the sound of the breath. Feeling the expansion of the breath in the body. And now taking your right hand, just place it over top of your heart. Feel your heart beating beneath your palm. Take a deep inhale through your nose. 
And on a long exhale, out your mouth. And now release your right hand and take your left hand over top of your heart. And again, feel your heart beneath your palm. Feel the beating of your own heart. And take another deep inhale through the nose. And an exhale out the mouth. And then bring your hand down. And now as you begin to slowly open your eyes, so imagine with your gaze slightly downwards, like the sun beginning to rise. So as you open your eyes, See as though with your eyes were coming slowly up and to center. And then take a moment here to notice how you feel. 